you're just waiting for what am I going to say next, right? But your yoga begins now. You have stepped up to the top of the mat. Your feet are together. So begin. Begin your breathing. Begin being aware of your body. Yoga is not about waiting for instruction. Yoga is about learning how to live and be called from what is inside you. To be a little more who you are doesn't come from me leading you, that comes from you listening, you trusting, you breathing, you moving, you deciding. What's next? What's now? Being informed from the past, but not stuck in it. And so as we step up to the top of the mat, good morning, Shabbat Shalom. As we step up to the top of the mat, it's a statement of being present, being here, being ready for whatever it is that we are going to create together. Now really, tune into that breath because you know it's the foundation of this practice. And the next time you breathe in, let your arms just rise up over your head. And then on the exhale, bring the arms back down do that two more times. As you inhale, the arms reach. Reach like you mean it. Stretch your body. On the exhale, bring the arms back down. Move like you might be moving through water. And again, the last one. Alright, on this one, bend your knees, sink your hips, reach your arms, chair pose. Just do it gently. No drama. Come to standing. Release your arms by your side. On the inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach your arms. On the exhale, release the arms, straighten your legs. Good, one more time like that. Sit back, reach up. And then stand, release your arms. Good, inhale, arms reach. Let's take a little back bend. Exhale, neutralize, bring the arms back down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, a little back bend. Lengthen and extend the spine. Lift the chest. And then release. Yep, last one right here. Inhale. Breathe. Stretch. Reach. Arms by your sides. Good. Inhale. Both arms up. Open the arms out like a T. We're going to hold there. See if you can push the feet down and out. Squeeze a little bit on your hips. And then twist your body to the right. Right there, let's drop the right arm down to touch the left leg behind you, and then bring the left bicep to the ear. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing. See if you can push those feet down and out. Squeeze a little on the hips so your hips stay facing forward, and your chest turns beautifully out to the right. Last inhale, reach a little more, and then exhale, bring the arm down, face forward. Good. Inhale, both arms reach. Open the arms out like a T. And we're going to twist to the left. Take the left arm down. See if you can touch the right leg behind you and then bring the right bicep to the ear. 
Remember, your feet are pushing down and out, and your hips are still square. Don't let the hips turn with you. There you go. Squeeze a little on the outer hips. Feel the legs pushing down and out. So we don't want to turn the hips. We want to keep them square. Get the waistline to start moving. Yeah. Give me one more breath. Reach just a little more. And then exhale. Arm comes down, face forward. Nice. Inhale, both arms reach. We've done so much, we haven't even moved our feet yet. Exhale, forward fold. Nicely done. Inhale, lift halfway. Let's go to plank pose. Step both feet back. Nice and strong in that first upper push-up. Become aware of what might be fatiguing and what might be feeling really strong. Let's make sure the legs feel really straight and strong and the arms feel really straight and strong. And then if you're already starting to feel like you're fatiguing, then put your knees down right where they are. And then we're all gonna lower slowly, forward and down, chest out toward the fingertips. You gotta move forward on that one. Uh-huh, inhale for cobra. It's a gentle back bend. The elbows squeeze back, the shoulder blades squeeze back, the collarbones widen, the elbows are bent here, the hips are still on the ground. Uh-huh, try not to overdo the glutes. There's a little work there, we want them toned, but we don't want them squeezing, we don't want our feet lifting up behind us. We press the feet so we can get more lift out of the chest. And then exhale, release, let the chest down, tuck your toes. Let's go to downward facing dog. Your first moment in downward facing dog, it gives you a lot of information about what's feeling tense or tight and what's feeling loose and open. Let your head down. Use your arms well. Spread your fingers out. See if you can get your hips to rise a little higher and at the same time sink your heels a little lower. Take one more breath. And then we're gonna look at the hands and bring our feet right back where we started. Just walk, jump, step, however you wanna get there. Bring the feet together and then lift halfway. Good, exhale, fold. With a flat back, rise all the way to standing. Pull in the belly, push down and out through your feet. Let's reach, and then pull the hands to the heart. How are we feeling so far? Are you okay? Good, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Fold in like you mean it. Grab your ankles this time and bow your head humbly. See if you can draw down a little bit more. Feel the back of the legs open up. Try not to flare the sit bones wide, but instead narrow them a little. Protect the upper t uh, tendons of your hamstrings. That's it. Now, when you're ready, we're going to bend both knees. We're going to sink the hips and come to chair's pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. All right. Now, keep pushing your left foot into the ground, but lift your right knee off the mat. Uh-huh, you can do it. I love it. Then we put that right foot back down, lift the left one. Press into the right as you start to lift the left. You can feel it. And then put that left foot down. Let's push through both and come on up. Nice, let the arms go. One more flow, inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, breathing and moving. Lift halfway on the in breath. Let's go to plank and lower on the same exhalation. So both feet go back and we take it down onto the belly. Inhaling to cobra pose. And then exhaling back to downward facing dog. There's a really nice flow here. Take a few breaths. All right, welcome ladies. Come on in, find your place. All right, let's push back just a tiny bit. And just look forward. Let's go ahead and walk our feet right up to the top of the mat. Feet are together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We're going to finish strong here with a chair pose. Bend your knees, sink your hips, reach the arms. All right. Now drop your arms down by your sides. See if you can now lift that right knee again. Push into your left foot. Lift the right leg. Mm -hmm. Now take your right hand on top of your knee. Push your right hand down, but push your knee up. See if you can create a lock there, where one doesn't win. One pushes down, one pushes up. Yeah, you got it. And then put that foot down, sit a little lower, because some of you came out of your pose, and then lift the other knee up, and then we'll play the same game. The hand pushes down, the knee lifts up. Find where they meet. It's not about who's stronger or how hard you can push. It's not about making a face or making too much heat or too much energy. It's about ma marrying 
and merging the energies. Go ahead, put your foot down, plant both, and then come on up. Good, nicely done, let your arms go. Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Uh-huh, inhale, lift halfway. Good, let's go to plank and lower. Mm -hmm. Take it all the way onto your belly, and then inhale, gracefully take your back bend. And then pull in that belly, push through your hands. Let's go to downward facing dog. And each time you take down dog, just make it feel better. Uh huh. That's it. The legs could be a little straighter because they're strong and they actually can hold the pose a little more than the arms can. Take one more breath, push back a touch. And then look at your hands. Let's go ahead and bring our feet right back up to the top of the mat. Uh-huh, lift halfway, inhale, fold deeply on your exhale. And then with a flat back, we rise. Lift the head and chest, pull in that belly. Let's reach, maybe even take a little stretch at the top. And then pull your hands right into the heart. Good, standing right here. Push the right leg down, lift the left knee up. Now, put the hand on top of the knee. Remember the pressure, equal, right? So what we're doing is we're creating resistance. Resistance is how we develop strength in our muscles, right? And so I want you to take the leg back behind you, but I want you to feel like your hand is pushing your foot, right? So as you try to push your leg back behind you, imagine there's resistance. Like if I had you in a bowl of honey and you had to kind of push your leg back through the honey or through the mud, yep? Push all the way until you can't push anymore and then straighten your arms behind you. Lift them up like you're doing a little cobra. Uh-huh. And then take your time. Put your foot back down like you're moving through that honey or that mud. Inhale, both arms reach. Can you feel the muscle work? Hands come to heart center. This is focused concentration. Switch to the other side. Stand in your left leg. Feel what it feels like to create the resistance. And then keep that feeling. It's like your muscles are strong. They're deliberately taking an action. And then you're gonna take that leg and you're gonna slowly, like you're pushing through something. Yeah? Flex your heel, push through the thickness of this humidity, right? That's it, arms go back behind you. Start to lift your arm. And then your feet come together. Let's take the arms up, take a breath, reach. And then pull it to the heart center. I like how you're moving. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Yeah, you might get sweaty today. Inhale, lift halfway. Then go to plank and lower. I imagine if we just stood here for an hour, we'd be sweating too. So you're moving. Don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Find your way back to downward facing dog. And then remember that feeling of that resistance and that moving through something thick. Let's lift the right leg up behind us. Don't fling it up there. We gotta move it like it's moving through something thick and we're gonna keep pushing until we get it up as high as we can. And then really slowly go ahead and pull the knee to the belly. Squeeze it tight, push your chest back toward your knee. So try not to come forward like plank. Mm -hmm. Work that hip flexor a little bit. Work the crease of the hip. And then keep the leg close to the body. Now come to plank. Uh-huh, now I need you to push down and pull the belly in, get as high away from the mat as you can, and then step your right foot right to your hands. Uh-huh, step it up to the top of the mat. I know you're looking at me like, what? <laughs> Come on up for high crescent lunge. It's a lot different if we just use momentum and swing the leg forward, or if we use our muscles to create the action. So I'm just teaching you the steps. What do we need to engage in order to get the foot there? And so it doesn't always look pretty while the body's learning. And we actually find that we stumble against a bunch of obstacles sometimes. Tight hamstrings, weak hip flexors, misbalanced proportions, right? That's it. Everybody looks good here. Hold that. Let's open the arms out like a T. Take your time so you feel a little resistance. Let's twist over to the right side. Mm-hmm. Now the right arm is going to reach back for that left leg, and the left bicep is going to go to the ear. Mm -hmm. 
find it. Push the feet down and out. Square the hips. There's a little squeeze there. Keep the spine long. Keep turning from the chest. Feel it through your waistline. You guys look amazing right now. And then inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, let's take a flow. Hands down, step back lower. Uh-huh. Just move in and breathe in. Not perfection. Mindfulness. Yeah. And then with a little bit of that resistance, start slow motion, lifting the left leg. Don't fling it up there. Some of you are just like, whoop. Okay. If you're in the mud, how long would it take you to get it up there? And how much more could you keep pushing and lifting and stretching? Good. Now squeeze your knee to your belly. Keep pushing back in your down dog. Chest to the knee. Mm -hmm. Squeeze it in tight. And then keep that strength. I want you to work the crease of the hips and come forward to plank. Now this plank is a little bit higher, right? Push down, get everything as high away from the floor, make space. Hollow the chest, pull in the belly, and then step that left foot up to your hands. Yep, come on up. Root down into your feet. It's the same thing, feet pushing down and up. Squeezing a little bit on the hips. You got it. Then the arms open like a T. And we'll start twisting to the left side. You can feel your left arm reach down for the right leg. And then take the right bicep to the ear. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep grounding. Feet pushing down and out, outer hip squeezing. Where's your breath? Uh huh, now I see it. Your face has changed when you're breathing. That's it. Everything's better when you're breathing, I promise. And then turn and face forward, inhale, arms up. Exhale, put the hands on the ground. Step back slowly, lower down, nice and easy. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, I think we're starting to get somewhere. All right, how are you feeling? You guys okay? Yes, no? Yeah, okay, woo. Okay, we got a woo. <laughs> All right, walk your feet right up to the top of the mat. We'll go right back where we started. Feet together, lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips. Here comes chair pose. Good. Go ahead, drop your arms down by your sides. Mm -hmm. Now, push down into your right foot. Lift your left knee. Uh-huh. That's it. Can you lift it a little higher? I think you can. Remember the strength you have at the crease of the hip. Uh-huh. Good. Now, keep pushing down into the right foot. And then stand up and squeeze the left knee even higher. Uh-huh. Now, like you're moving through that mud or that honey, take the leg back behind you. Uh-huh. Now, instead of arms behind you, can you start to sweep the arms by your ears? Uh-huh. That's called warrior three. Both feet are pushing out. The hips are squeezing. Uh-huh. Now bring the arms back down by your sides and then bring the left knee back to the chest. Now again, like you're pushing through something, push the heel forward, straighten the leg. Mm -hmm. Now, can you lift it a little higher right there at the crease of the hip? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yep. <laughs> and then slowly put it down. Good. Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. You're all really good sports. <laughs> Inhale, lift halfway. Fold again, please, on the exhale. All right, we're gonna bend our knees, sink our hips. Here's the chair pose again. Mm -hmm. In this chair, again, we let the arms drop down by our sides. So it's not so much about that upper drama, but just sitting low. And then take the other knee. I believe right knee lifts this time. Mm -hmm. So you gotta feel the push down and the squeeze up. I want you to work the crease of the hip. Yeah, you could even put your hand on it and create resistance if you wanted to feel that feeling again. Good, now stand up straight, lift the right knee even higher. And then like you're moving through mud, water, honey, I don't know what it is, but just push through with a little resistance. It'll help you maintain your balance. Mm -hmm. The belly is in. Once you get the leg all the way back, start to extend the arms forward. Feel the push and the pull balancing the pose. 
Mm-hmm. You've got this. And then take the arms back down by your sides. Come to standing. Lift the knee back up to the belly. Try not to put it down in between. And then extend it out in front of you. Just push. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're stronger than you think you are. Go to the crease of the hip. Lift your leg a little higher. A uh hop -huh, because you can. Yep. And then go ahead. Just put it down. Inhale. Both arms up. Exhale. Forward fold. I know you're working a little hard, but... Don't hate the teacher. Inhale, lift halfway. Let's go to plank and lower. You gotta have a sense of humor. Good. Inhale, cobra. Be calm. Exhale, down dog. All right, so we've been working the crease of the hip. Let's open it up. Right foot steps up to the hands. Left foot turns flat behind you, warrior one. Come on back, heel flat, and then rise up facing forward. Arms up. Warrior one. This is state of mind. All right, the feet are going to push down and out, but the hips are going to squeeze in. We're going to try to keep that chest plate forward, and we're breathing. Yeah? All right, now, if you bend the front knee a little bit more and ground the back foot at the same time, you'll start to feel some length on the left hip. Do you feel that on the front of the left hip? Now, I want you to go there a little bit more. Bring the left hip bone a little more forward little bit, the left hip, a little more forward, uh-huh, right there. Now, take a deep breath, let's lift the chest, let's reach a little higher when the sternum lifts, we even get more of that flex, uh, uh, hip flexor to lengthen, yep, and then we're going to let it go, hands down, stay right where you are, clasp your hands, and then humble warrior, start to fold. Now that pulling on the left hip disappeared, mm-hmm. Here's an opportunity. Push the feet down and out, square the hips even more. Pull the right hip back, pull the left hip forward. Squeeze in there just a little bit. Now bend the front knee. Uh-huh, be great. Bend the front knee, keep pushing down and out through your feet, and then rise up like you're moving through the mud, through the water, through the honey. I don't know, what are we moving through? I keep making I'm shit up. Afraid. What are you moving through today? Give me something. This is cheap. Yell it out. Molasses, huh? Slime. Okay, you guys are creative. I would not want to be doing my yoga in the middle of like green gooey slime. <laughs> but if you have kids, that's what you think about, right? Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, let's take a flow. Hands down, step back, lower. Yeah, I'm a honey, molasses, oatmeal kind of girl. <laughs> All right, left foot steps up, right foot turns flat. Mud was kind of rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> but it just didn't seem right. <laughs> All right. Ground the back foot. We're going to work on the right hip flexor. We've been working it. We keep squeezing things in and working the crease of the hip. So feel how long the right hip is in the front right now. Ground that foot behind you. And then let's see if we can bring the right hip a little more forward. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. There's just some length. And it takes time. The psoas is really stubborn. And it's because we sit a lot. Our culture, we sit when we eat. We sit when we poop. We sit when we relax. We sit when we, like, hang with friends. You know? We sit in the car. Right? There's very little that we do standing until recently. We got the beer desks and all that. Right? So we got to keep that long. We want to give it time to release. It's thick and dense, that muscle. Uh-huh. The feet push down and out. The hips squeeze in. And then just lower the arms down. Interlace behind your back. Do the other index in front. Take a deep breath. Open your chest. And then exhale. Start to fold. You can feel the pulling stop on the right side. So we get to integrate and create a little bit more balance in the pose. Don't be afraid to bend your left knee. And then think about left hip back and right hip forward. So if your shoulder went inside of your left knee, you're probably even turning a little bit to the side, and your hips are probably sticking out to the left. I want you to pull that left hip in. So think about that. Can you get your hips square? Left hip back, yes. And then we squeeze on those hips as we start to rise up. Push into your feet, lift your head. Uh-huh, that's it. Inhale, both arms up. Take your flow like you're moving through whatever you're moving through today. Let's try oatmeal. Yeah, step back, lower. Inhale, it's gooey. We got to move slow. Push through the floor, lift your hips, use your muscles. Create that resistance. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. 
Alright. When you're ready, you're going to slowly walk your feet right up to the top of the mat. Even do that like you're moving through. Imagine doing this on the bottom of the pool. And then you get to lift your head, take that breath. And then exhale, fold back in. And then rise through that water. Come on up. Push your feet into the bottom of the pool. Lift your head up into the air. Reach high into the sky. And then pull your hands to your heart. Okay. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Put the right hand on the right knee. See if you can feel that again. And then lift the knee up. Feel them pressing into each other. Mm -hmm. Remember that feeling of resistance. We're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna take that leg back and reach both arms forward, create it. Uh-huh, now I see it. You guys are getting it. Uh-huh, both arms are reaching. Now, I want you to bend the standing leg, which means your whole body is gonna get closer to the floor. Uh-huh, try to hold that without putting anything down. And then take your arms out like wings, like a T. Mm -hmm. Get down a little lower. Now, very, very lightly, take your fingertips and touch the mat, uh-huh, and then pick them back up. There we go. Now straighten the left leg and pull the right knee back to the belly. Oh, yeah, so beautiful. Pull that knee up high. Now we know that feeling of bending the standing leg. Do it again and cross your leg over, knee over knee, and sit. Uh-huh, sweep the arms back behind you. Try to bring the collarbones forward. And see if you can get the legs to work together. Cross the knees. It feels like the bottom leg pushes up and the top one pushes down. And you can even put your toe on the floor or you can wrap your foot around your ankle. Uh-huh. That's it. Now, start to come to standing. Lift that right knee up to the chest. I know we've been on that one leg a long time. It's about to be over. Nice and slow, like you're moving through whatever you're moving through today. Put your foot down. Let your arms down. Slow. Good. Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. What I'm starting to see is grace. And the grace comes from strength. Let's rest here for a moment. Stay equal in your legs. Keep your knees a little soft. The most graceful, right? The gymnast, the ballerina. They are pure muscle. They are all core. They are just as strong as they are flexible. So if you're thinking that yoga is just about getting flexible, I'm here to tell you that it's not. It's about balance. Let's go ahead, bend your knees, sink your hips, start with the chair pose. Mm -hmm. Put the left hand on the left knee. Just remember that feeling of pushing the hand down as you try to lift your foot off the mat. Create that resistance. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Now you know that feeling of trying to push into something. Keep it with you as you start taking your leg back and both arms forward. You're moving a little slower and a little more deliberate with a little bit of muscle hugging bone. Uh-huh. The heel is pushing through the muck. Uh-huh. That's it. Now, bend the standing leg, get a little lower. Mm -hmm. See if you can get down nice and low. And then super light touch, just fingertips to the mat. Mm -hmm. Take them up and out like T. And then we're gonna straighten up. Come all the way up, pull the knee back into the belly. Standing leg bends again, and we cross. Left over right. Sit low enough that you can get your toe on the floor, and then take your arms back. Mm -hmm. Get the legs to work together. Man, I love this. You guys are so strong, so beautiful. The arms start to reach. The knee starts to rise. You take it back up. I know you've been on that leg a long time, but let's go ahead and just put it down nice and slow. Uh-huh. Inhale. Both arms reach. Exhale. Forward fold. <laughs> Lift halfway, inhale. Let's go to plank and lower on the exhalation. Mm -hmm. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, walk your hands back to your feet. Mm -hmm. 
So we walk him all the way to the back of the mat. Roll yourself up nice and slow. Soften your back body and contract the front body. Take it up really easy. All right, standing nice and tall. Go ahead and lift your right knee. This time I want you to take your hand and your forearm and put it outside of your leg. And then as the leg pushes out, the arm and the hand resist. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, this is nice. Do you start to feel that burn on the outer hip? Yeah. It didn't take long. That means we need to work that strength there. That's so much of our stability comes from there. Uh-huh. That's it. Now imagine the arm starts to push, but the leg resists. We work the other way. Feel the inner thigh. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Mindfully release and put it down. Feels good. Do a little of that. Uh huh. Just because I can ask you to, and you will. <laughs> and then we all get a little silly for a second. Yeah. Let's do the other side. I know you won't fall for it again. Unless you thought it felt good. <laughs> okay, left hand, forearm, outside the leg. Find the resistance. It'll help you hold your center. This is what it means to move through all the transitions. So when we move from one pose to another, it's this level of presence that we have in our transitions. Right? So when I'm saying lower down to the floor, come into your cobra, go back to down dog. We're moving with mindfulness and muscle. Let the hand push and the leg resist. Uh-huh. Muscle tone. Gracefully let it go. I know you feel that burn, so go ahead, shake it out. Mm-hmm. You can move if you want to. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Some of you like to dance, some of you not so much. Inhale, both arms reach. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway. Inhale. Fold again on the exhale. Mm -hmm. And then chair pose. Bend your knees, sink your hips. Good. Push through both feet. Let's come on up. And then take the arms out by your sides. Okay, we're going to stand on the right leg and take the left into tree pose. Mm hmm. So do you remember that feeling that we just had where the hand was on the outside and we had to press out against resistance? Find that here. Tailbone draws down, sternum lifts, collarbones are broad. Can you feel that work? You can even put your hand outside your leg and push into it a little bit. The front of the hip's gonna open, the outside of the hip is gonna tone, yeah? Good, let's take the arms up overhead. Sideways grows long. Both feet still feel like they're pressing. The outer hips feel like they're squeezing. Now we're gonna drop left hand to left knee. Mm -hmm. See if you can take a little side stretch here. Mm -hmm. Slide the left hand down more. Open up the right side of the body. Uh-huh. Like you're moving through water. Or humidity. Or oatmeal or molasses or maple syrup or honey. Yeah, and then come back up the same way. The arm has to lift through it. Uh-huh, that's beautiful. Hands to the heart center. And then we put the leg down like it's moving through it. Uh-huh, thank you. Let's try the other side. Same idea. Yeah, I love that little dance, that little wiggle move in the middle. Uh-huh. Okay. Press a little bit. Both feet. One pushes into the earth, the other pushes into the leg. Gently. We start to feel that pushing back, that strength in the hips, not just flexibility. Muscle tone all throughout the core, throughout everything, so it's holding you steady. Mm -hmm. Arms start to rise. Like we're moving through it. Because aren't we every day moving through it? Let's drop the right hand down to the right knee. And then we see if we can take a little stretch over to the right. Uh-huh. That's it. Open up the left side of the body. Remember that reach. So sweet. 
feel like we're moving through it. The arm rises back up. We let both arms down as we take the leg down. Go ahead, take a walk up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Oh, lift, sorry. I was checking the time and I obviously said the wrong cue. Inhale, both arms up. <laughs> I wanted to see where we were, we're on the clock. Exhale, forward fold. Lift and lengthen on your inhale. Let's go to plank and fold. Uh-huh. Now, remember that feeling of moving through it. Roll onto your right side, face the left. Lift that left arm high. Uh-huh. Strong, pushing down to rise up. And then slow motion, like you're moving through it. Left hand goes down, right arm goes up. Uh-huh, take your time. Feel the resistance all around you. Feel how gravity is holding you. Uh-huh, we're gonna do it again. Put the hand down, switch sides. Try not to put the knee down. We're not staying on either one too long unless you have a shoulder or wrist injury. See if you can do it with both legs straight. Uh-huh. And then switch, last time. Left hand down, right arm up. Moving through it, gracefully. With strength, with grace. We look down, we put the hand down. Now we lower ourselves down. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Right foot steps up, stay on your left toes. Come on up for a high crescent lunge. And then turn open to your left side for warrior two. Mm -hmm. Warrior two. Do you remember that feeling on the outer hip when we were pressing open wide against our hand? See if you can make that happen in your right leg. Mm -hmm. You feel it, right? There's strength there, not just flexibility. Sometimes a readjustment of the positioning of the bones, maybe the tailbone down. For some of you, you have it already jammed under. Maybe you need to let it out a little, right? So find where you need to be. There is never just one cue. Okay, feet are pushing down and out. Outer hips kind of have a squeeze. Can you go a little lower? Mm -hmm. Stay right there. Let's reverse the warrior. Uh-huh, we're into the side body again. Left arm down, right arm up. Now there's a tendency here to let the left shoulder come forward. Pull the left shoulder back. Turn your chest out to the side. Uh-huh, that's it. Now, reach the left arm down to reach the right arm higher. Uh-huh, and then bend the front knee a little deeper. Yes, as you bend the front knee, pull up the pelvic floor, get extra support, and then one more time, drop in there a little lower, press the knee open just a little bit, and then come back to warrior two. Oh, say it. Yeah, straighten your front leg. So good, let's go to triangle. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute here in triangle and think about the lines. Can you bring your hips a little forward and your head a little back so things line up a little bit better? It's not about reaching down and touching the floor. I actually would prefer your hand on your shin. We don't have props here, so I can't give you anything to support you. And now once your hand is on the shin, can you draw the tailbone forward and the head back? So we wanna make sure we don't feel like we're bending forward in this pose, it's a side bend. I'm coming, my friend. Head back, head back, this way, this way. Even more, even more, even more. Yeah, it's not the arm behind you. Yeah, it's the body going sideways. Drop your tailbone down a little bit. Look it, feel that? Okay, now we're gonna wrap the left arm behind the back. And then I want you to take your right hand onto your chest, your heartbeat, be right underneath that right hand. And then see if you can give me a little cobra in your spine. Mm -hmm. Head back, lengthen, breathe. Oh, you're so strong, right? This is really the strength. This is not the flexibility. Push down and out through your feet. Squeeze your hips a little bit. Now, like you're moving through it, let the arms go. One goes down, one goes up. Very careful. We come back to warrior two. Bend the front knee. Yeah, beautiful. Go ahead, take a flow. Both hands touch down. Step back lightly, lower, slow. Take 
a deep breath. Move through your cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, left foot step, stay on the right toes. We start nice and easy with a high crescent. Root down so you can rise. Take your time like you're moving through it. Get up like this, right? It's like deliberate. It's muscles hugging bones. It's like you're cutting through the humidity. Turn open to the right, open your arms. Even that. Every transition, mindful. The back heel is flat, the back leg is straight. You get stability from the back leg. We explore the pose in the front leg. But both have to be working. Chest open, arms out. Remember that feeling in the outer left hip. Can we create that? Push against the resistance just a little. Keep bending the left knee. Find it. Mm -hmm. Now as we explore deeper in the pose, you have to lift the pelvic floor. If there's no support down here, there's no way we can hold this. If this is like the drain open and all energy going out, we got to pull everything in here up and in. Uh-huh, take it all the way up and out through your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Then reverse your warrior. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So nice. Remember, there's a tendency sometimes to bring the right shoulder forward. I want you to pull it back. Yes, yeah, stay in your side body. Now with all that beautiful upward energy, don't forget to bend the front knee. Some of you came out of the front leg. Keep lifting the support, keep pressing that knee open, feel it, you're moving through it. There's resistance around you and you are creating integration and support and strength. Take one more breath, reach a little more, and then bring it back slow. Say it. Straighten the front leg, just ha, ah, right? Both legs are straight here, it feels like a new day. It's like, oh, you get a fresh start. That's how yoga works. Yoga just begins now. Tip it over into triangle. It's not how deep you go, it's how much space you're creating. Open the chest. If it feels like your booty is behind you and your head is forward, switch it. Bring the hips forward and the head back. Yes. Yes, you got it, my friend. <laughs> All right. So please don't reach for the floor. It almost never means good alignment. Hips forward, head back. Mm -hmm. Stop the arm behind you. Yeah. That's it. Does that feel a little bit better? Good. All right. So keep pressing down and out through your feet, squeezing a little on the hips. You got to feel everything working. Then we're going to wrap the top arm behind the back. That's a half bind. Use it well. Push the hand into your body so your shoulder blade moves into your back. You got it. Everything has a purpose. And then we're going to see if we can hold and put the left hand on the heart. Bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Is your heart beating in there? Uh-huh. Feel for it. Go inside. Feel the feet pushing down and out. Just lengthen your spine. Give me a little cobra. Yeah, that's it. Right there. I love it. Now, like your arms are moving through something. Take one down and one up. There's some grace in this. And then you're going to rise back to warrior two. Feel your muscles. Bend that front knee. And then when you're ready, both hands go down. Oatmeal, molasses, peanut butter, it's getting thicker. Yeah, uh-huh, yes, we're getting stronger. Move through it, take a breath, lift the crown. Mm -hmm. Exhale, downward facing dog. You guys are magic. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a nice deep breath in. Let out a little sigh, let out a little sound. That's it. And then really slow, like we've been doing. Let's just bring ourselves to a seated position. Simple cross legs. Mm -hmm. Or you can sit on your heels, it's all good. As long as we sit together. down and out. Squeeze a little on your hips. See if you can get your spine to rise. Take your left hand onto your heart. Feel for that bump, 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 bump. You can hear it. It's in the music too. There is a pulsation of life. 
And as long as our hearts are beating, we are part of it. May the yoga always help us to remember that we are not separate from, but we are part of. Right now, as we sit in this beautiful park surrounded by trees, know that every time you breathe out, you allow them to breathe in. And every time they breathe out, they give us the air we need to breathe in. And that's like every living creature. We are not separate from. We are not alone and separate from the humidity or the molasses or the oatmeal. We are part of. We're moving through it every day joy and the heartbreak, the fear, the wonder, the magic. It's all around us. So let's slow down a little bit so we can feel it. A little bit about maybe having an imagination in your practice, but more so that we can become more aware of all of the things that are living and breathing around us and within us. Let us not judge the experiences as good or bad. Let's just experience every single one of them. I don't think anyone gets through this life without deep grief. And we learn and we grow and our hearts break. And our hearts only break because we had the beautiful privilege to love that big that it felt like a loss. So don't shy away from the shadows. Don't chase after the light. Just move through all of it. Do it with strength. Do it with grace. Imagine that that's what you can teach us. Go ahead and take a long, slow, deep breath in. Open your mouth and clear it out. Yeah, just ah. Uh, put a little smile on your lips. Let's lean back a little and unfold our legs. Let's float our feet up in the air. And I want you to feel the support of everything that's around you. Uh huh. So you're balancing kind of between your tailbone and your sit bones. Your legs stay together, but they can be bent or straight. And then do your very, very best. That was two berries, right? So that means spine long, spine tall, back muscles supporting, shoulder blades into the back. No sagging, right? No drop in the middle, no drop in the upper back. It's lifted. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. And then like you're moving through it, take your arms out and open like a T. Mm -hmm. Turn the palms to face up. Try not to lose what's happening inside, and then really slowly take your arms up overhead. Uh-huh, no rush. If you have to put your feet down, do it. Do it, keep the integrity in your spine and just put your feet down. Mm-hmm. Arms are gonna open out like a T. And then we're gonna turn the palms forward and bring the arms in front of us. And then you can put your feet down. Go ahead, bow your head forward. Soften your belly for a moment. So our knees are bent, our feet are on the mat. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna turn the soles of the feet toward each other and let the knees drop open. And then round your spine. Really feel the tailbone rounding, feel the head rounding, and try to aim your head toward your heels. So the feet are a little forward. Mm -hmm. Feet are a little forward. Give yourself space here. We've already been in the hips really deep. This is more about just allowing a little softness. Let the belly do what you never let it do, and let it all hang out. And it looks even worse when you're folding forward, so just like get comfortable with it. That's your body. <laughs> We're all gonna look so much better when we lay flat on our backs, so it's coming, don't worry. But I feel like it's fun to play with the inner critic. Yeah. be with that. Watch what arises. And then I 
nice and easy, start to come on up. Let's go ahead and lay ourselves down. As you lay down, keep your knees bent and your feet on the ground. We're gonna take our arms by our sides and really plant the feet firmly. So the heels are right in front of the sit bones. The knees are up, it's called conscious resting pose. Mm -hmm. Yep, so the knees are bent, the feet are flat. Feel the whole sole of your foot press down and then press through your arms and your shoulders. <clears throat> Let's start to come up into bridge pose. Remember the resistance? Move like you're moving through it. Push down to rise up. See if you can get up just a little higher. The arms pull, push down. The shoulder blades pull in. Yes. Squeeze those shoulder blades in. Get the chest to expand a little more. And then use your strength. You're gonna feel it in your hamstrings, in your glutes, in your lower back. Like lift yourself off the mat just a little more. Make sure your feet are not together. They're open about hip distance. Heels in front of sit bones, yes. Give it one more little lift, and then take your time. Slowly come on down. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one more time. Push down to rise up. Slow, don't hop up. Move through it. Feel the muscle actions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep going until you feel like you've reached the edge. And you know, as soon as you think you're at the edge, if you give it another breath or two, sometimes it moves a little more. And then we start to come down nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Control it from the inside, like you're just moving through all of it. And then move your feet together, let the knees drop open. Supta Baddha Kamasana. Take your arms up over your head, and for a moment, let's stop working. So we're not trying to be more flexible, we're letting gravity open the shoulders and open the hips. We're letting the shape of the big joints create a different curve in the spine. And we're just gonna allow for a second. Breathe a little more. That is the one action you can take here. Go ahead and start to move your arms out like a T. And draw the knees back up and into the center. Let's push into the arms a little and lift the knees up to the chest. And then take both of your legs over to the right. Arms stay out like a T. Rotating the spine because the hips move all the way around. Maybe you even look out to the left. Go down. If you're holding them in the air, you're working too hard. Just put them down. They are much better, my friend. Yeah. What does it feel like to let go? And then how does it feel to have to pull it back together? Right here. Pull it back together. Pull in from the insides. Gracefully, like you're moving through it. Slow motion all the way through the center. Roll like you're getting a massage across your lower back. And then let your legs and your hips turn to the left as your upper body opens and you look to the right. Just wringing out any last bits of residual tension. If your feet are in the air, put them down. Yeah.
got time. Pull it back together, move through it. And then let your legs come down. We're gonna take a few moments in stillness. So if there's something your body's asking for right here, sometimes things get kinked up a little bit. Sometimes you need to make little adjustments. Is asking for something to honor it, and then don't get too wrapped up in it so that you can release and lay yourself out in your final resting pose. experience can feel very much like the outer experience. And as you try to settle into the stillness, you may still feel like you need to move through some things. Be patient with yourself. It's just the process of letting go. Instead of creating action, you're releasing action. And it does take practice because we do get conditioned to holding the tension. It starts to feel like our normal. See so if you can just take your time and let it go. Bring the breath in a little more purposefully. Start to feel the outer body expand with every inhalation and feel it soften on the exhalation. You might start to feel like you want to move a little, and so feel free to stretch and move any way that you like. And eventually in your own way and in your own time, please find your way to see it. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in at home. We know that you're there. I check on you as soon as I get a moment to get to a device. Look at your comments and I appreciate you.
for staying with us. And that recording stays live on my Facebook page. So if you want to get to it later or tomorrow, it'll be there for you. And for all of you, for all of you that come out every week, I see all the same faces. Through the worst of our weather in August in South Florida, here we are. humbles me to see how many of us are dedicated to our practice, how many of us are open to the teachings, what a privilege and an honor it is for me to share them. We are so blessed that somehow, some way, all of the twists and the turns of our lives somehow put us in this part and this day to be able to receive the wisdom. And believe me, I'm receiving it just like you are. It's not coming from me, it comes through me. This is not about me. It's about what we create here together. And so again, I just thank you. Thank you for showing up, for giving me an outlet to allow this to pass through. The teachings are incredible. Let's bring our hands together at the heart. We'll take a deep breath. We'll just go with the music. The train pass. We'll take another breath so that we can create the beautiful and sacred sound of home. Shanti, 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 He, Om, Peace, Peace, Perfect Peace, Laka Samasta, Sukhino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. May the actions of my life and all of our lives somehow contribute to that happiness and to that freedom for all, so that we may all know peace, peace, perfect peace. Namaste, my friends. Namaste. And to everyone behind me, namaste, and to the sides, and to the back, to all of you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Happy Saturday. If anyone feels like they want a little more yoga, but different yoga, I'm subbing at the studio today at 11.30 for a yin class, which is just sort of a deep, slow practice. Instead of three to five breaths in a pose, we take three to five minutes. They're done in a very passive, passive, passive um, state of being so that we don't stretch our muscles, we actually go deeper into the connective tissue and into the fascia, right? And so we loosen up a little more in the joints. It's actually a really, really magical practice. So 11.30 today at the studio, I'm teaching the yin. It's not really my class, but it is what I teach during the week. Um, and I've been traveling a lot, so I'm trying to pitch in with my staff and make sure that I am there for them, just like they're there for me. So 11.30 today and 10 o'clock on Sunday, a flow like this, an hour and 15 minutes in the studio at 10 o'clock on Sunday. So if you feel like doing a little more yoga tomorrow, come join me. Um, I even have passes. If you've never been to the studio, come in as my guest. Try either one. 11.30 today, 10 o'clock tomorrow. And there's something else going on this weekend if you're interested. Um, we're, we've been hosting a monthly women's circle. So I'm sorry guys, I know that sounds terrible. Um, but if there were enough men, I would host one for you guys too. Um, but we're tr trying to create a little bit of a tribe. It's a, it's a women's circle, it's a circle for sharing movement, a little bit of dance. Um, so it's like a sacred circle that we're doing usually the first weekend of the month. It's being facilitated by one of our, our very own teachers, uh, Jacqueline Burbage. Um, she's been hosting them beautifully. She holds the space beautifully. Sometimes she has you pull cards. Sometimes she just has like a wisdom question. And it's really nice, open sharing, a circle of trust, a place for healing, a little bit of movement, a little bit of dance, um, uninhibited dance, which is really, really healing. So if you're interested in that, it's Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. 
and then just keep your eyes open for it. It's called Embody Dance or Embody uh, Movement. <laughs> 